Um, I'm Christy Keonui. I'm a teacher at Mililani High School. I teach social studies. I've been there for about close to four years. Yeah. And I have about 20,000 in student loan debt. My name is Jordan McKnight. I work at IAEA High School in SPED FSC. Um, and I have about $90,000 in debt. My name is Danny Asadera, and I am a senior at Chaminade University. And about how much debt do you have? I probably have around 20 to 30 grand in debt. Hi, I'm James Lynch Urbaniak, and I'm an Instruction and Professional Development Specialist at HSTA. I was a former educator at Elima Intermediate in Emma Beach, um, and I taught English language arts, seventh and eighth grade. I came uh, into teaching with about $50,000 worth of student loan debt. Um, I was lucky enough to take advantage of the teacher loan forgiveness program, um, which was one of the things that we covered in tonight's workshop. This is our first workshop that we did on degrees, not debt. Um, it's an NEA and HSTA workshop that focuses on opportunities and ways for new educators um, and current educators, anybody really. Uh, to have some of your debt forgiven uh, by learning about some of the federal loan forgiveness programs that are out there. I just had a baby about 14 months ago um, and so it's you know it's difficult he's not in school yet but we do have some babysitter things we have to pay for and food and all the added expenses plus we have a mortgage uh, my husband is still in school he's getting his doctorate so definitely that extra money would benefit us. It affects our daily life. Both my husband and I are teachers, so um, we live with my mother-in-law to help pay it off. Um, we have to budget really closely. And just, it's a lot of budgeting. Concerns for me and uh, many of my classmates, so we're all going to be teachers, and already to begin with, teachers start off with a really low salary, and um, we're all, a bunch of us are in debt, and like, how are we gonna pay this debt if like, we're already starting off on a low scale? And um, you know, it's just, it's kind of frightening. A lot of our educators have really no idea about some of these federal loan forgiveness programs that are out there. Um, whether they take advantage of a 25 year um, longer repayment plan, um, or if they decide to do something like I did, where after five years to have your debt forgiven, depending on what subject and what area you teach at. So the um, Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program is a program where if you work at a public institution, a public 501c3, after 120 qualifying payments, you'll be eligible to have the remainder of your student debt forgiven by the government. We also have the Teacher Loan Forgiveness Program, which essentially offers $5,000 or $17,500 um, ca uh, canceled from your student debt. Uh, there are different requirements for who gets five and who gets $17,500, but that's where you work in a Title I school, which we have many in Hawaii, and also work there five consecutive years. It was awesome. I mean, I learned about different uh, benefits that are out there. Uh, I actually didn't know about a lot of the programs. I, I've heard of the loan forgiveness, but I wasn't sure about some of the other ones. So it was really great in helping um, just giving more information about the other loan options, the other forgiveness options, and kind of seeing if we qualify for them. It was really great and helpful. Learning about all the different programs um, tonight um, really gives me hope, and I think it would put a lot of um, my classmates' um, minds at ease, knowing that they have options, especially going into um, education professions. We had about 30 uh, teachers come that in face-to-face, -face, which was great. Um, we also had a virtual session that took place afterward for our neighbor island members, um, and that included both student members who are currently pre-service, as well as our educators that are in service right now. And we had about 50 educators take advantage of the virtual session that evening. Sign up, come, get information. Because I think what's, what's really scary right now in our society is that we get these random phone calls and they could be phishing phone calls, we have no idea. So at least we know with the HSTA, we're getting legitimate, good information that we can use for ourselves and you know, share with others. I would definitely recommend all of my classmates to take this workshop and learn about what their options are to kill their student debt. We saw such a tremendous turnout to our events um, that we're planning lots of face-to-face -face, um, workshops in the spring um, on our neighbor islands as well here on Oahu. Uh, so we're going to be taking the show on the road. Um, it's a huge interest area and um, 
based off our new membership cards that we received from our early career educators, um, more than half indicated that student debt is a main issue that they have and they're looking for the union, HSTA and NEA, to kind of help with uh, dealing with that debt issue.